Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sorful here, and as you can see, we are on the beautiful Maple Story 2. And what I want to talk to you guys about today is actually this furry fellow here, whom I've named Doggo. And I want to talk to you guys about pets in general. I want to show you guys how to catch different pets around the Maple World. And if you guys stick around towards the end of the video, I'll also share some information with you guys on why exactly pets might be of interest to you and what their capabilities are in Maple Story 2. So for starters, let's go ahead and zoom. <laughs> he, came, he came in for the spotlight right there at the end. But let's go ahead and zoom out here. So first things first, you have to be level 50 in order to even catch and use pets in Maple Story 2. Um, as you guys can see, I'm level 50. You can see it at the bottom there, or you can see it in my party uh, at the side on the left side. So if you guys do the tutorial, which is, am I, this is not water, huh? But if you guys go ahead and go into the life skills menu and you go to Maple Guide, and if you haven't already done it once you hit level 50, there will be a um, pets guide here for you. And so it does a really good job at showing you how to catch pets in Maple Story, but it doesn't go into depth on how you would necessarily encounter them in the wild. So um, I'm not sure how this hungry slime here would look or if you'd even be able to see it if you're not level 50 yet. But because I'm level 50, um, I could see that it's a hungry slime. And so now there's two things that you're going to need to know and have on you at all times if you want to go into catching a bunch of different pets. And that is the Dryad Pet Candy as well as a Dryad Snare. It can be any type of snare, whether G1, G2, G3. Um, I'm going to go ahead and equip the G1, which is what you get from the tutorial. You could also buy these candies from um, the pet woman. I don't remember her name, but if you read the description of it, it actually tells you um, purchase from supply merchants in major cities. So don't worry about running low on these. Um, you could get you could get them in ample quantity um, at your leisure. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna t uh, first start out with the same tutorial mobs that they they have you capture. Um, in the actual uh, pet catching tutorial and if you guys look at my pets I actually still have my slime I actually just got it today uh, not too long ago um, but I figured a little something out and I wanted to share it with you guys and that is how to catch and how to find other pets that you might be interested in um, this dog I did not catch it on my own I actually got it uh, as a reward from some kind of quest I've just been doing a bunch of different quests so I can't necessarily remember which quest I, I got it from but I know that I got it from a quest. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to locate a hungry um, hungry mob of any sort. For example, we're gonna be using the slime. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chuck candies at it. And I'm gonna make it a big full boy. Um, there we go. And then it's gonna to wanna to chase me. I'm gonna place the snare right here. Let it, let it walk onto it and it broke the snare. So I'm gonna feed it again just so it's at max health. And then I'm gonna run up here, place the snare, and boom. Just like Pokemon 3 Wiggles, captured it, and it should now be in your inventory. It's that simple. Whoops, open up the Windows menu there. I don't know why it's not disabled. Go ahead and do that now. So it's in my inventory. You guys can see that it says new here. And believe it or not, this is actually the first pet I've ever caught outside of the tutorial. You guys could verify that by this little quest right here. It's an event quest. Apparently it expires on November 8th. So this is my very first capture outside of the tutorial. And what you could do with multiple uh, versions of the same pet is you could actually open up the pet menu. Mine is on, I believe it's on this button. And what you could do is you go to the fusion. For example, I want to fuse this pet and then we're gonna use this pet right here and it's gonna love um, help level it up a little further or give it a little bit of exp towards this next level and so i'm gonna fuse it in and now this slime is a little bit closer to its next level and once it level up it levels up you guys can see its stats right there those base stats will go up uh, along with it and now these pets are useful for many different things again we'll get into that later on however what i do want to show you guys now is that whoops we're gonna open up that same pet tab and if you guys go over to the album portion of it, you guys can see a bunch of different pictures here for a bunch of different pets that you can capture. So I have this pet right here. Um, 
but the important thing to look at is the habitat. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna test this. We're gonna see for the very first time, I haven't tried this yet, so this could either be a really successful video or it can be one where I just look like an idiot. Of course, if I do look like an idiot, uh, you're never gonna see this. Um, so if you're seeing this, rest assured, it went well. <laughs> Let's hope so anyway. Um, so what pet do I want? You know what, for the classic Maple Story 1 pet, a lot of people like getting the uh, Junior Boogie, of course here it's called Little Boogie. <laughs> that sounds so much more funny. Um, so we're gonna go for the Little Boogie and its habitat is Raptor Dive Pass and Magma Research Station. It's, those both sound very far, I might not have even discovered Raptor Dive Pass yet. Um, but I've definitely been to Magma Research Station, if I'm not mistaken. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in Raptor Dive Pass into the world map. Of course, I didn't have to close it. Maple Story 2 is really good with uh, multi multitasking. Raptor Dive Path, was it? Raptor Dive. Raptor Dive. Raptor Dive Pass. Okay, so it's all the way here in the top little corner up here where I haven't even really discovered yet. Um, so that's a long way away. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hustle on over there I can't take the taxi because I haven't discovered there What I am gonna do is I'm gonna take a taxi to Perion and then I'm gonna hustle my way up there And then I'll continue the video once we're there and show you guys what it's like to actually encounter a non um, Tutorial mob in the wild what it'll look like if I have to kill mobs to find it first or whatever it may be and then we're gonna go through with that procedure so I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, as you can see in the top right side, we are in Raptor Dive Pass. Now, this is my first time stepping into this map. Um, okay, so what, what I actually want to do real quick is we're going to go ahead and head over to the binoculars, not only for the exploration goal, but also because I want to... Oh, there's a, a little boogie right here, a junior boogie. Um, Let's just go and head over to the binoculars. I want to see something. If you can see what the map see. where the junior boogie spawn. Wow, my character's getting beat the hell up. Okay, so we have one platform and one at the top. Okay. So we're going to head up to this middle platform right now. Um, if I don't see any on the map as is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill a couple of mobs and see if that'll spawn them. Um, because that might be what we have to do. So there's none here. So if, if we if we remember the slimes, the slimes, they were automatically there. I didn't have to kill anything. They were um, automatically amongst the other regular slimes. So let's see if we can see some hungry, hungry boogies here. Hmm. I'm not seeing any at all. Let's go a little bit higher and see if we can find them. It just might be that they're really rare or hard to find, so you might have to change channels, but because I've checked all of, or relatively all of the um, platforms, what we're going to do is we're going to kill a couple of them and see you can't that escape. one spawn them. Got to wait a little bit for them to spawn. Well, that's spawning. Maybe we'll go ahead and kill down here just in case. Let it rain. We'll blow you away. Okay. Let's head back up. See if we see any. Oh, a different mob spawn. That's interesting. Oops. Let's go. these again so no junior boogie spawned over here this time this is really interesting because I would have expected that they would just be running around in the wild I know in the first half of the video I said I'm not sure how it works if you're not level 50 yet um, I think if you're not level 50, you will still see that it's a hungry monster. You just won't be able to interact with it because you need to be level 50 to unlock the candy and buy more of it. So Let it break. Huh? that's probably that. But I'm gonna keep killing on a couple of these platforms because I want to see if I could um, 
I want to see if I can spawn them. I want to see if I can spawn them on any of these platforms, because I, I have a feeling you do have to do a little bit of killing in order to spawn them. You can't so escape. Go ahead and try here. If it ends up taking a while, I will fast forward and show you guys the result. Hopefully, um, hopefully I can get it to spawn here. Whoops. This is nothing on that platform. There's one junior buggy. Kid, let's go. Kid. That's off. You can't escape. I'll blow you away. Hmm. Let's go all the way back up top and see if anything happened now. Let's see. Right after I grab this chest. And there's another chest. Don't mind me, guys. I have to. I won't feel good with myself if I don't. Right, let's head back to the top. Seeing less and less uh, junior boogies now, which is quite interesting. So now we have none on the Let map. Break. That is very interesting. Whoops. I need more stamina. So we just completely got rid of the junior boogies. See, that's the thing, I'm not sure if there's a special map where you're supposed to go. It just says that it's on the Raptor Dive Pass. So it should be in this general map. I think because it's a rare uh, encounter, there might be a, a, lo a very low chance of it actually spawning. The next thing we're about to try after I let these mods respawn is we're actually going to try and... We're actually going to try and change channels. Oh, we found one. We found one, baby. Let's go. So, you actually do have to kill. You don't have to change channels. You just have to do a little bit of killing. I think I'm going to leave all of this in the video so that you guys can see how long it took for me to find one. Um, so, let me just double check and see what rarity, if it tells us, the little buggy is. Um, it doesn't show the rarity. It only shows it. I guess the rarity is all the same because it shows the rarity um, as a best tier collected. So that means you could get different rarities of the same pet. So let's go ahead and capture this one. I'm going to clear all these mods just so it's a little bit cleaner and a little bit easier for me. Blow you away. Hit. So let's go. Oh, almost got imprisoned. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do what tutorial taught us. We're going to feed this bad boy. It auto locks on the aim, so you don't have to worry about that. It's, it's infatuated right now. Let's place the trap right here. Come down, come down. It completely broke it. We're going to feed it back up to full. Nope, not here. Place the trap right here. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, so we got it. So now, after I kill these, we can do the OCD. Um, we're going to go ahead and see what rarity we got. I'm pretty happy that this actually worked. Um, so yeah, you just have to do a little bit of killing and you'll find it in the map that it says. There's various maps where you can find each mob, so you just have to look in the album and you'll see it. Let's go over to Pets. Junior Boogie, it looks like a terrible tier. It looks like the common one. Um, yeah, it's just a basic tier pet. So now, it's also tradable one time. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and see. It's going to say common tier or whatever tier it actually is. Why doesn't it pop up here? Oh, because I didn't actually use the pet yet. So I have to actually use it in order for it to show its tier. Luckily, you can see what tier it is from the colored background. 
So I think this is like called common. This is rare. This is blue is exceptional. I believe it's kind of different. I don't know why they didn't People keep the same tiers as uh, Maple Story One, but pretty low tier. But that's pretty much how you would find the pet. I think if I were to do this again. I would find a different rarity as you guys can see there's another one there so let's go ahead and do this let's go ahead and do it for um for uh, experimental break. sakes <clears throat> okay and now we need to go ahead and heat it up oh it's a yellow bar this time last time it wasn't a yellow bar i'm pretty sh certain it wasn't a yellow bar I don't have any more of those traps though, because I'm a noob, so let me go back to, um, is it life skills? No. Is it consumables? Let's go ahead and put these, uh, higher grade traps on. Put it down there. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And we got ourselves a new pet, so let me go ahead and check out the rarity of this one. It had a yellow bar. I know the, the other one for a fact did not have a yellow bar. It's the exact same. Did it have a yellow bar? I'm starting to feel like I'm I went ins I'm going insane now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was a green bar. I'm not sure if that dictates anything's with the pets. Um, it does say normal pet underneath the, the requirement level. Actually, I just realized. So it is normal. This one's rare. This is exceptional. But that's pretty that's pretty interesting because I've encountered two. Um, I kind of want to encounter a third one, but I'm unsure if we could get uh better rarities if it's like extremely rare to get higher rarities i don't want to spend all day uh farming the junior boogie but if i do see another one right now which i do go ahead and do it one more time for you guys as well as for myself because i'm very curious to see if they're all the same um let me just get rid of all of these guys i'll blow you away I'll blow you away Feed this bad boy candy. It's a yellow bar again. Maybe I am going insane. Maybe I am. Uh, step right here. Wiggle, wiggle. All right. So we got another one. Please don't attack me. Let's see. It's normal again. So we got three of them. They're all normal. And just to confirm that they are normal upon use, I will use one. Let me look in my album. I actually have to get off the rope to use it. Are you kidding me? Ouch! Okay. Whoops. Okay. So there it is, my new little boogie pet. If I go to album, it'll say best tier collected normal. So it is the tier that you collected. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what you would do. You gotta kill a couple of mobs. Uh, maybe you don't have to. Maybe like the slimes, like we saw earlier, uh, they'll just be on the map. But for the most part, kill a couple mobs and they should spawn in relatively no time. However, if you want a high grade pet, it's probably gonna take you a little while of grinding, which honestly is very quick and simple to catch these pets. And it seems like once you spawn it once, they, a lot of them spawn at the same time. So it's not too hard to farm them. Um, or at least it looks that way. I'm gonna go ahead and call it my doggo back. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have stuck around to this portion of the video, as promised, I'm gonna help educate you guys on what the capabilities are of pets in this game. So if you could see right off the bat, hovering over the pet, it shows stats. So it shows pet bonus attack. I'm unsure if that actually applies to your character or not. However, there might be a way that we could test this. If I open up my, whoops, my equipment tab, and I go to advanced view <clears throat> and we go to weapon attack It's 1303 I'm pretty sure I have that with or without the pet so even if with the, without the pet it stays the same so that doesn't get affected try it one more time yeah so this is for the pet the the pet bonus attack is actually just for the pet um, and it, every time you level a pet up, it says how much more attack it gets per level this one is 21 and for exceptional pets or pretty much anything but normal pets it also has a couple of potentials so to say um, which is called bonus talents so as you can see this pet at level 30 will give me 2% movement speed and at level 50 pet level 50 that is it'll give me 24 crit rate so 
Um, the pets could actually be a nice little passive buff for you at all times. I'm pretty sure that that bonus applies to your character and not the pet. So that makes it all the more useful. Uh, how long it's going to be before you get the pet to level 30 or 50, I guess that that all depends on how much you decide to farm that pet um, to continue to fuse it and level it up that way. I'm unsure if there's other methods of leveling your pet up at this moment. There probably is. There's probably some pet food you could give it like in Maple Story 1, some premium pet food that will level it up at a faster rate, nearly instantaneously. Um, but aside from those, these pets actually attack on their own and you could set that whether you want it to or not. But aside from that, they also automatically come with auto HP potion. So all you have to do to access that menu is use item. So first you have to open up the pets tab obviously and in the info tab, you would go to use item, click the gear icon, and you would put a potion in here. For example, I'll do this live for you guys. Let's go to consumables and let's go ahead and put this potion elixir in. You would just drag it in and you could put never used or you could choose, um, you know, below what percentage of HP it, you know, the pet will actually activate on its own. So if I put this a uh, 90%, use when health is 90%, one moment. I actually do not want this here, so we're gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna heal myself at all. I'm actually just gonna let my pet heal me. So let's see um, if it actually works. These, these might take a little while to hurt me, but there we go. Pet worked perfectly. Um, that'll activate the cooldown for potions, as you guys saw. This was actually on cooldown, um, so it's it doesn't bypass the the cooldown for potions. Um, you're still gonna have to live with that, but it's a nice little. Um, if you're someone who doesn't you know do too well at keeping track of your hp then it's definitely very very useful um in times like that like the reason why i have it is just in case i get below 20 percent and for example if i get cc and i can't heal myself i'm sure my pet the pet heal is so instantaneous that the pet will actually heal me before i get cc'd therefore saving my life in most cases so i'm hoping that's the case i haven't tested it yet but that's what i have it for but it's good to know that your pet automatically comes with auto HP. Um, and to show that it does come with the... To show that it does come with pets. I'll go ahead and equip my slime. And it still has the, the auto HP. Of course, it's not assigned to it yet. But all pets, no matter what rarity or tier they are, they come with the auto HP. As well as auto loot. I have mine to auto loot everything. Um, you don't really need the auto loot for pets. However, I will recommend you put it on anyway because the way I think auto auto loot for pets works is they count as their individual body. And as you can see, my pet is very far from me right now and it doesn't necessarily follow you to the T like in like it does in, in the 2D version Maple Story 1. So that my pet's all the way up there still. So if if I kill the monster back here where I'm standing right now, and I run away without the before the drops even hit the floor. My pet's still back there, so my pet has a chance to loot those things on its own, even though I'm far away from that killed mob already. Hopefully that makes sense. I think that's how it works. Um, I could try and test it. Let's see if my pet'll. Let's see. I'm still too close to test it. It's, it's hard to test, but I think that's how it works. Oh, that would have been a perfect test right there if I had it to loot green equips, but I don't because I don't really need green equips um, But yeah, I think that's how it works if the pet is still there It'll loot it for you So it has it gives you pretty much a bigger radius of looting power of auto looting power at that So I would recommend putting auto pet auto loot on still um, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to have it on um, That gives you two sources of, of auto looting. So we we saw auto HP. We saw auto loot your pets also have a chance or they they can help you revive you um i'm not entirely sure how this works uh if i want i could let myself die right here and we could test it out uh let's go ahead and do that actually i'm gonna take off my auto hp let's go ahead and take this off again for experiment purposes let's go ahead and die come on so the good thing about MapleStory 2, dying is super easy. Mobs love to attack you even though you don't interfere with them. They're just savages like that and they'll come pecking your face for no goddamn reason. Um, so let's see. I'm surprised the pet doesn't attack unless you start attacking. That's pretty interesting. 
um, because I do have the auto attack feature on. And if you guys do want to disable the auto attacking feature um, in a pinch, you could go down right beside your character here and it says pet auto attack enabled, click to toggle it off. So right now it's pet auto attack disabled and I want to put it back on, so I put it back on. So you can do that very simply right be beside careful. your picture. Um, but let's go ahead and see what happens when I die. I don't have the metal tombstone active right now. Um, I'll show you guys what that looks like once I die. But I want to see my pet auto revive me because I haven't actually seen this yet. It says that it can. So I want to put that to the test. Oh shit. Oh my god. It revives you to full health. It revives you to full health. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but when you die in Maple Story, you revive and you get revived like by a teammate killing your tombstone. You revive with like 10% of your health. So to be revived with full health is super helpful. Unfortunately, obviously it doesn't work on metal tombstones, which you can see, by the way, if, you, if you've if you died once within the past hour, you'll get a regular tombstone where a teammate can revive you by attacking your tombstone. Or if you have a pet, your pet can revive you by doing what you guys just saw. However, if you've died within the past hour, you'll have Tomb Shocked, and your tombstone will now be a metal tombstone, meaning you would have to click revive in a safe place or the instant revive option. And therefore, your pet will not be able to revive you um, through the metal tombstone. But that's why it's a pretty cool idea, especially if you're soloing in this game, which I highly don't recommend. Play with people, play with friends. This game is so much more fun when you're playing with your friends. But that being said, get yourself a pet. You can use the slime, the beginner slime, but I know a lot of us like adventuring. That's part of Maple Story. It's, it's the whole adventure exploring maps. As you guys can see, that's what I'm in the progress of doing. I have 18% exploration progress. I plan to get that up to at least 50% in the near future. And it's really fun. Explore, find the mob that you want to have as a pet and go after it, go get it. It's very, very useful for the reasons that I just mentioned. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you found it at all informative or helpful in any way, shape, or form, then be sure to give it a like so that I know, as well as share it with a friend who's new to Maple Story 2 and is asking you questions about pets, annoying the hell out of you, even though there's a tutorial in the game. Um, and yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I plan to make more Maple Story 2 videos, and I hope to see you guys around for that. So without further ado, stay calm, maple on, it now is a better time than ever to do so, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.